Good morning, good morning, and welcome to our Marketplace Daily Devotion. This is Lady O here, September the 1st. I pray that you are having a wonderful and a blessed day on this Thursday. Amen. We're almost there, guys. We're almost to Friday. And today, amen, we are going to be talking about you. Who are you? You know, in this season, it is imperative that you know who you are in Christ. Now, I'm not just talking about who you are as a person or, or who you are, because, you know, many of us know who we are. We know our name. We know what we do. We know who we think uh, we know who we are. Uh, but who are you in Christ? Amen. And, and, and it is time to arise from any brokenness that you might have had in your past. You know, we all have been there. We all have been hurt. We all have skeletons in our closets. We all have been broken. But it is time to arise. Hallelujah. Arise. God says that it is time to arise and let your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. It is time I declare and decree today, my sister, my brother, that you arise in God so that your enemies can be scattered and so that God can do Amen. What no other can do. He can do the impossible. Yes, he can. First Peter, and that's our scripture uh, today for our daily devotion, is First Peter 2 and 9. And that scripture says, but ye are a chosen generation. Yes, you are chosen. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. Yes, dear heart, God says you are peculiar. <laughs> so it don't matter if people call you strange. It doesn't matter if people don't understand you. It doesn't matter if people look at you all funny because guess what? You are peculiar. He says you're a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into a marvelous light. God has called you. Aren't you glad today that he has called you? Aren't you glad today that he has pan picked you? Mm -hmm. God has. And that says a lot. That says a lot. So there's no reason for you to be down and out. There's no reason for you to have, uh, you know, uh, have a frown on your face because God has called you. Uh, let me let me just give you the definition of chosen here. Chosen, that definition means having been selected as the best or most appropriate. Hmm. <laughs> having been selected. God selected you. He selected you because he knew that you were the best. For whatever, for whatever family you're in, for, for whatever job that you're on, for whatever uh, circle of friends that you have around you, whatever center of influence, hopefully, that you have and that you're in, he says he chose you because you were the best to handle that. You were the best. He chose you. <laughs> because you were the most appropriate. That says a lot, dear friends. Mm -hmm. Selected means to be carefully chosen as being the best or the most suitable. <laughs> Let me just tell you today, and I'm not going to be before you long. I just want to give you some encouraging words. Amen. God said that you were the best. He said that you were the most suitable to handle whatever it is that you're going through. He's already prepared you. He's already given you everything that is within you. <laughs> what you got to stop doing is letting other people dictate to you who you are. And you got to know who you are. Amen? You got to know who you are. From the time that we are born into the time that we either mature and get this revelation or some of us never get it and until the time we die, you have people in your life who are trying to develop 
you, define you. Amen? <laughs> and instead of you asking the one person who knows you, which is God, we listen to everybody else. I'm going to tell you today, stop it. Stop it. If that person, amen, uh, you know that you know that you know, if that, if that person is not somebody that God has, has destined and designed to speak into your life, then you just need to stop listening to everybody. Amen? Amen. Because God says that you are chosen and he selected you. He chose you. So this month, we're going to be talking about who you are, discovering who you are in Christ. Amen. God has some great things for us. Amen. Going into this coming up year, uh, I'm just I'm just excited about what God is doing in our lives. And I can't share a lot of things because you know what? It's not time. And, and you don't need to share a lot of things before time because then people get, you know, uh, and, and, and sometimes we just have to zip it, keep it to ourselves, and then just let people see. Amen. But you are chosen, dear heart. God handpicked you. God selected you to be the best because you are, amen, the appropriate one. You are the called out one. You are the chosen one. You are the most suitable for the job. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If you're on that job and they're, they're, they're giving you all kind of hell, guess what? Lift your head up and let them know that they hired you because you were the most appropriate and the most suitable. If you've been put in a position, whether it's at church or if you've been put over someone, uh, then walk with knowing that. Walk with that confidence, knowing that you are the most appropriate. You are the most suitable. And then trust in God. Trust the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into all truth. Because he said the truth will set you free. And we're going to talk about that too. Yes. The truth. People don't want to hear the truth nowadays. But let me tell you, when you've lost your way, it is the truth that brings you back. When you've lost your way, he said, the truth will set you free. So, this is Lady O, amen, just coming on for a few moments today, just to let you know that God loves you, and so do I. And let me tell you, uh, God is still on the throne. He's still in charge. God is still in charge, not you, God. And so until Wednesday, well, today is Thursday, I'm sorry, until uh, Monday, uh, which is actually Labor Day. So, yeah, yeah, I think I might see you on Labor Day, <laughs> amen. But if you are planning to take off, Enjoy your Monday. Rest. All right. Rest from all your labor and enjoy your day. And this is Lady O saying, I love you. Be sweet and much, much is.